Now, Cybus has set a very ambitious long-term goal for being one of the world's most sustainable events. It aims to do this it, it, as part of SWIFT's ESG strategy by caring for our community and leading by example. To find out what this means in practice, we're joined by Melissa Sternberg, Global Head of ESG at SWIFT. Welcome, Melissa, to Cybus Hello, TV. Hello, thank you so much. Lovely to have you. Um, Lovely to be back. Let's let's start with the the, the sustainability uh, sustainability strategy that Cybos has uh, at the moment. Explain it explain it to us where it stands right now. Yeah, so it's quite simple. Excuse me, <clears throat> I have a bit of a frog in my throat. Um, so it's quite simple, and it's it's continued over the years, uh, and it remains the same. It's it's foundationally based on three elements protecting our environment, caring for the local community where we're hosting the event, as well as promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion. And so, you know, Cybos is committed to reducing its environmental impact. So can you talk a little bit about what concrete actions, what sure. does that look like? I think it's important to talk about the concrete actions because that's where it really lands for people and then they know what we're doing and what they can do to contribute. Um, so again, it's kind of emblematic that we also are centered around three themes. I, I think maybe that's because that's the strongest number in geometry maybe. Um, but there's three core themes. One is linked to the food choices. The second is linked to how we build the actual event because it's a lot of materials. And then the third is the, the transportation on the ground. So I'll kind of build out on that. The first piece is the food choices. And it's really important because we have over 6,000 people here. Um, we're feeding a lot of people throughout the day. So 80% of the food choices are locally sourced, which is fantastic. It re reduces the amount of shipping. Um, the second piece of that is eliminating waste as much as possible. So let's feed the amount of people that are here and, and reduce. Uh, so our goal is to have limit limitations down to 10% of waste. So make sure you get to the cafes and get the food early or we may run out. <laughs> I hope not. Um, and the experience too. So I don't know if you've had the opportunity to walk into the, the cafe where you can pick up from the food stands, but we've provided vegetarian options, which we all recognize has lower emissions than meat, meat choices. And an element that I really liked, and I think it's emblematic of the financial industry, they care a lot about numbers, right? Which is key to running their businesses effectively. Um, you can see on the boards how much emissions you're saving by choosing a veggie option. So I chose the veggie option and uh, my emissions were reduced threefold. So if I had chosen the meat option, the emissions would have been 300% more. And I will say it absolutely was delicious and I would choose it again. I chose it again today and I'll probably be eating it the rest of the week. <laughs> um, and then the other element, if I shift gears a little bit into the actual build out, uh, we have another KPI that is set on 60% of everything that is in this building being recycled or repurposed and transformed into reusable energy for the future. So that kind of circular uh, way of thinking and putting it back into uh, the systems. And then the other element is making sure we, we understand the raw materials are very, very rare and important that we take care of it. So we're limiting the raw material use uh, to 15%. So, and that's really linked to health and safety reasons where we absolutely have to use it and we can't avoid it. Uh, so that's the second theme. The third theme is really linked to uh, the transportation. So I don't wanna avoid the, the elephant in the room that you know, about 6,000 people, maybe a little less traveled to Cybos. Um, I think it's super important that we get together on an annual basis to bring the brightest minds together, talk about some of the really big challenges in the industry. Um, and I've had great conversations uh, across, you know, the FCC, CBDCs, um, how we're solving some of these really uh, difficult interconnectivity issues. Um, so I think it's important to bring the industry together for really high impact events. So that's not avoidable, right? What is avoidable is when we're here, let's not use the cabs, right? Let's use the public transportation system. So what we've done is provided free passes to the delegates across the entire week. So you can jump on the public transportation, it doesn't cost you anything. And it's actually a better experience because for me to get from the airport downtown, it was less time than jumping in a cab. So those are just some of the, the concrete examples. Yeah, we've got a pretty good uh, system here from the train to down, from the airport to downtown. For the sure, train. and it's appreciated. I live in London and you always want to jump on a tube instead of getting a taxi unless you want to double your journey. Yeah, time. Exactly. Uh, Now, sustainability and, and kind of tackling climate change is one fantastic initiative you guys have focused on in Cyber this year. We do have some others as well. Caring for the local community is one big pillar of, uh, of the Cybos sustainability strategy. Can you tell us 
us a little bit about the uh, the charity partner yep. uh, this year yeah. uh, and also how Cybris is, is helping to support the community here in Toronto. Yeah, absolutely. So every year um, we like to donate to a local uh, philanthropic good cause. So this year we're donating to uh, Sick Kids Foundation. Uh, they're actually located in the sustainability village that we've built. Uh, so go check that out. It's in the escalate, like right before you go down to the main exhibition uh, and have a conversation with them. They're doing some amazing work. They, I visited them the other day and they shared that 70% of uh, mental and neurological uh, challenges actually are discovered in childhood. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is they're working to create funding for the research to be more proactive and innovative. So a lot of the similar things that we do within finance and investing in our futures, we're investing in our, our, our young kids so that they can come in and, and uh, be a productive uh, citizen of the society and all the good work that we're doing. So definitely go and visit them. We're donating 20,000 uh, Canadian dollars, um, you know, and I would love to see some more donations. So I would encourage you guys to go down and check them out. Uh, so obviously Swift taking the lead here on, on these ESG initiatives, but how are you also encouraging exhibitors uh, and participants to lead to change? What can they do? Yeah, so we have, again, another new initiative. Uh, and I first, before I forget, I want to thank the Cybos team and the individuals who made this happen. So I get the opportunity to speak about it, but there were incredible individuals, Stephanie being one on the Cybos team, that brought it all to life. Um, so this year is another new initiative. There's a sustainability pledge that you can go into your app, and I encourage everyone, I want to challenge everyone, one right now to go in your app it takes two seconds go to more underneath the sustainability section sign up for the pledge you're committing to five simple actions and I think you know across 6,000 people that creates big change and we can see that ripple effect throughout the industry uh, we have a target of 60 percent uh, participants across both exhibitors and participants so make sure that you go check that out you heard it here uh, first, guys. Do check that out. Wait until the end of the show, but then check that out <laughs> immediately. Uh, last but not least, how are you guys promoting diversity, equality, and inclusion this yeah. year in Toronto? So I think this is a space where we've been focusing on for several years, right? Um, we're really proud to have 50% gender um, diversity on the, the panels across the entire event this year. Um, the second element is the STAR program. So I think you guys are going to talk with some of the stars and mm -hmm. kind of uh, experience what they're going through in this week. And that program continues to build. We had the largest class this year. Um, so this scholarship program allows them to really come to Cybos, experience it, network at the educational value to build their careers for the future. Um, and then the third element is we expanded on the Women of Cybos event that we've been running for years. So I would encourage everyone, go into your apps, sign up, uh, get registered. It's tomorrow, I believe, at 5.30. Uh, we have a wonderful speaker who's going to be presenting on her resiliency and kind of how she got through some of the, the challenges in her career. So make sure that you go check it out. Awesome. Uh, Melissa, just such important work, and we've been seeing some mm -hmm. of it firsthand as we walk through the conference. Yeah. And hopefully uh, participants will also yeah. commit to uh, being a part of that change. As you said, every little bit helps. Melissa Stenberg, Global Head of ESG at SWIFT, thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.